Hi, this is Deborah, and today I want to talk about what it's like to be in jail. I've worked at the sheriff's department and uh, the police department and at correctional institutions, and I have seen women, uh, when they're admitted in, actually cry for a week straight, nonstop. Um, it is the saddest thing, especially if they have children. Um, it is heartbreaking. If you can imagine uh, being told when to wake up, when to go to sleep, the constant banging of the jail doors, uh, not being able to wear what you want, having to shower and use the bathroom uh, when you're told to, uh, no privacy at all. Um, my recommendation if you're locked up is to shut your mouth, read the jail regulation book. Um, once you have read and understood it, if you don't, ask the correctional officers. But uh, you need to know about visitation. You need to know what your visitors can bring in. Um, I know that there's even clothing regulations for what your visitors can wear. Uh, this is especially at the Fredericksburg jail. Um, your visitors can't wear anything that reveals uh, the arms or whatever. But like I said, read the jail regulation book. You're supposed to be checked on every half hour, I believe. Uh, and if you're not checked on, you're, the, the correction officers are not doing their job. Um, and if you cause a ruckus or if you're suicidal, they're going to probably take away all your clothes your matches, whatever, and put you in a cell uh, with constant um, monitoring, probably every 15 minutes. But um, yeah, you don't want to go into jail and threaten to commit suicide because uh, you better be dead serious because they're going to monitor you a whole lot closer. Uh, and there's certain things that can't be in letters or whatever. But the best thing to do is be compliant and listen to the guards. Um, most all of them are um, wonderful people and they'll do anything to help you. Uh, also keep in mind that you might be in the same cell. Um, I, don't, I don't know if, they, if they're doing this, but I remember that they would separate the felonies from the misdemeanors, the habitual offenders. And they won't tell you what your your co-person in your cell is. They won't they won't tell you what they're in for. They're not supposed to. But in the old days, everybody knew, even the correctional guards. But they don't even tell them anymore. But I will tell you this: if you're in there for child molestation or pedophiles, uh, pedophilia, um, you probably are going to be one of the most disgusted or disgusting uh, people in that jail. And you will probably be treated accordingly. Um, but that's why the the administration and the administrator has to uh, keep all that quiet, you know. But, um, uh, so it's not a good thing. Someone's coming down the driveway. Jeez. Uh, wonder who that is. Okay. All right. Bye-bye.